Alarm bells are ringing. Polish president warned that Russia will target NATO in two to three years. Polish president Andrzej Duda said that NATO must urgently increase its defense spending to ensure it does not become the next target of a Russian attack. Speaking to CNBC, Duda reiterated his calls for NATO members to increase their military contributions to 3% amid new reports that Moscow could be readying to target the military alliance within two to three years. Citing unspecified German research, Duda said new evidence suggested that Russian President Vladimir Putin is doubling down on his shift toward a war economy with a view to attacking NATO in 2026 or 2027. It follows Danish intelligence reports from February, which suggested that Moscow could launch an attack on NATO within three to five years. The alarm bells are ringing, he told CNBC's Steve Sedgwick, according to a translation. Duda said it was therefore more critical than ever to ramp up the alliance's military investment, describing his increased spending targets as common sense. We have two or three years in which we can increase our efforts, stockpile ammunition and produce weapons to maximize European security, get ready and make sure the invasion does not happen, he said. All this needs to be done in order not to have to get involved in a fight. The point is to create such a deterrent that ensures we are not attacked. This is the whole point because none of us want war, he added. The Polish president, whose country shares a land border with Ukraine, has spearheaded calls to supply weapons to Kyiv since the onset of Russia's full-scale invasion. Poland has also bolstered its own military capabilities, ramping up its defence spending in 2023 to almost 4% of gross domestic product, ahead of even the US in percentage terms. During a meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden last week, Duda called for NATO to raise its minimum military spending target to 3% of GDP to further strengthen the alliance's defenses. Europe's largest NATO base to be built in Romania, armies of alliance are approaching Russian border. Romania has initiated construction works to expand the military complex of the 57th Romanian Air Force Base Mihail Kogalnichano. The largest NATO military base in Europe could be operational as early as 2040, according to TVR Info. The Romanian government is investing nearly 2.5 billion euros into the project. The vast military complex resulting from the expansion of the Mihail Kogalniciano base will cover an area of 2,800 hectares and will contain facilities that were not previously present. The project aims to strengthen the air infrastructure, including new runways, a new control tower, a beacon and radio navigation system, a flight simulator and hangars. Additionally, administrative and social buildings, schools and kindergartens, shops, restaurants, a cinema and even a hospital will be established. The city will become home to 10,000 NATO servicemen, their families and base support staff. The base is expected to be fully operational by 2040. US troops have been using the base since 1999 and it currently houses units of the 101st Airborne Division of the United States and Allied fighter aircraft tasked with airspace protection duties. This new project follows on from earlier improvements to air bases in Romania, with almost $300 million spent at Air Base 71 near Campia Turzi, a training facility at Sinchu and Mihail Kogalnichanu. Romania has become a strategic focal point for both the US and NATO as it seeks to strengthen the ability to carry out operations in the region. In addition to fighter aircraft operating from both Base 71 and 75, the US Air Force also routinely flies MQ-9 Reaper drones from Campia Tuzi, providing increased surveillance capability close to Romania's border with Ukraine and the Black Sea. In November, Romania opened the European F-16 training center at the Gheorghe Mosionita Air Base in Fetesti. It is there that Iranian, Romanian and other NATO nations pilots will be trained to fly the US F-16 aircraft. Dorin Popescu, a Romanian military and political analyst, said the Mihail Kogalnichanu base will become the most important permanent NATO military structure in the immediate vicinity of the conflict in Ukraine. It's unlikely that this conflict will end this year, in 2025 or in 2026. 
it's likely to be a long-term conflict.